What's cracking everybody? New video. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today's video, I'm going to revisit this George Lopez thing. Okay. And it's for a reason. You know, the comment section is pretty hot. And two other things happen. Uh, somebody in my personal life got at me and, you know, said some things. And then I saw that uh, the rapper Conejo, who has actually met him and worked with him, he had his opinion. And I I, I, I actually respect Conejo. Conejo, uh, you know, he was on the run for a long time. You know, he fought his case, got a second chance at life. He's a humble dude. So when he speaks, I'm going to listen, right? Um, more importantly, you know, we're in an era right now where it's it's can cancel culture, right? Everybody wants to cancel everybody. And that's not cool, right? So I was sitting back and just marinating on it, right? <clears throat> I know that, um, you know, that it's a trip how the whole Cheech Marin thing is also getting dragged into it and people are telling me, oh, you don't like Cheech. And no, I don't. I had a personal interaction with him when I was a child and he disrespected a child. And then he disrespected, there was probably 200 people there, all Raza, there to support him. And he was screaming at us, calling us monsters, get the F away from me. Like it, it was, it was crazy. And it's something that I, I will never forget. And for those people that keep bringing up, well, he bought a big, um, he has a lot of art that's all, you know, our history and our art. What does that matter? He he has an investment. That's an investment. That's rich people invest in 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 artwork and it's a great investment. But you know, like I responded to one person that said, "Well, he owns all this art, this and that." Well, the Spaniards owned our people. Does that mean they loved them? No, it didn't. It was just property. It was an investment. Now, back to um George Lopez. I still haven't watched the whole thing. I went and saw it's like two hours long. I, I tried to skip around and get to the parts. I couldn't do it. And people were telling me that he was basically saying, look, I, 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 I made a blueprint on how you need to do it on your own. And, you know, before you ask someone else who already made it for help, um, you know, you should basically, this is what I'm getting, what people are telling me. You should basically go and fight your own battles and, and, and fall down a hundred times before I'll help you, you know, figure out how to tie your shoes. Right. And, um, you know, he, he's trying to rewrite history and say that he did it all on his own. No, he did it to a certain point on his own, but he had help along the way, like we all do. Right. And I mean, you guys do me a favor and, and, and Google, go on Google, go on Safari, whatever you got, and type in how did George Lopez get his big break and tell me that Sandra Bullock's name doesn't come up. You know, it's funny how, you know, he he accepted the help of her because she encouraged him like, hey, you know, I like your comedy. I think, you know, you have something, you know, and then co-produced the George Lopez show. Um... I don't know where he was in his career and I don't care, but don't act like she, George Lopez should not be acting like she didn't help him and that he did everything on his own and that everybody that comes after him should. Um, in a sense, I get what he's saying. In a sense. Um, I had a celly in, in the shoe and he was fluent in Nahuatl, right? And we would study every day, but I was never fluent. And he had me, you know, studying the grammar and all this stuff. And I was like, hey, homie, why don't you just teach me? And he said, you know how many years it took me to get where I'm at? Why would I give it all to you in a year? And in that type of instance, in that scenario, I got it. If you want it, you're going to fucking learn, right? And I guess that's what George Lopez is saying. But um, I think there's just too many people who have come out that have done business with him, that have you know, done shows with him that they tell a lot of bad stories. Flip side of that, like I said, uh, a personal friend of mine, really good friend of mine told me that he knows someone who has worked with him, been around George Lopez, and that he employs about 
84, 85% of the people that he employs are Raza. And I got to tip my hat to that, you know. Um, and, and, you know, you, you would think that those people would, you know, whoever they are say, hey, you know, hold on. Because he's catching a lot of heat. That they would step up and say, hold on, man, the guy is actually a great dude. And, you know, it's not their it's not their duty. It's not their job, you know. But like George said, you know, when he was talking in the podcast, basically he's a big boy. You know, he fought through everything and he'll fight through this. And we'll see how he comes out on it. But I think that where, where George Lopez, um, really the tide started turning against him was the political stuff. You know, and I had somebody in the comments talking about the political stuff. George Lopez was my favorite comedian. I used to tell people that all the time. He was my favorite comedian. You know, when I would hear George Lopez comedy, I would think, like, that's how my tío sound when they talk, you know. That's how the older homies sound when they're clowning, right? And then I turn on one of his specials and I hear a political rant. And it's like, man, I just want to laugh. You know, I want to enjoy your comedy. You're, you're a great comic. I don't want to know what you believe that I should believe. Because that's what it kind of felt like with George Lopez. He was telling us what we needed to think. Nah, man, I just want to laugh. You know, I, I have my own opinions. You know, if I wanted to go to pol a political debate, a political rally, I would have went there. But, you you know, you go to a comedy special to enjoy yourself. Um, he's made comments recently. You know, as far as the, like the, what do they call them? The, the transgender community. But what do they call the drag? The drag, people that dress in drag. He said, if you're not for them, then you're not for me. If you're against them, then you're against me. Something like that. And it was like. I, I, you know, maybe I'm old school, but I really feel like, because I'm not a homophobe at all, you know, I really feel like, you know, whatever makes people happy, that's their business. Whatever they do in the bedroom is their business. I don't need to hear about it. I don't need, you know, like, you know, I don't know. It's just crazy to me. But, you know, like I said, you know, a personal friend of mine that that knows somebody that, that's been around him and then listening to Conejo, you know. Those are those are gems that people need to hear about also. But I think at this point, um, the damage has been done. Um, if George Lopez really has the connections that people say he has, then he'll be fine. Um, he didn't say anything against the powers that be. He said something uh, in the direction of somebody that was just trying to come up. And it actually helped him. It, it I mean... Uh, the youngster is going to come up big. Is he going to be able to handle it? We're watching. We'll find out. Um, do I think that I should retract my original feelings on the situation? I don't. Um, if I had an interaction with him on more than one occasion with George Lopez and was around the guy, then I would have a better understanding of him. Um, you know, I said this a long time ago, man. Um, perception is not always reality. You know, George Lopez, whatever he intended when he said what he said, only he knows what he intended. Once it came out of his mouth, it was up for interpretation. And everybody interprets things their way based on how they grew up, based on, you know, their lifestyle and other things. Mm. I don't want to see, you know, if he's a great guy and it was a slip of the tongue, then man, I hope, I hope he can fix this. I hope he, he does well and he gets even more successful. But if that's who he is and, and the mask slipped for a minute, like I said, it did with Cheech Marin when I, when I saw him and had an interaction with him, pff, like about 40 years ago, you know, his mask slipped in front of hundreds of people and it was ugly. Um, I I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. I don't know what if George Lopez has has came out and said anything. Um, if he's tried to do damage control, I don't know. If Barbosa is capitali capitalizing on on this yet, but I know he's got a lot of people behind him, and there's still a lot of people that really enjoy George Lopez. Hopefully, they both come up right. Um, lesson learned. And 
apparently let's move on so that's my video for the day uh i know a lot of people are gonna oh you 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 broke it down this and broke it down to what you know uh i really wish I, I really wish the best for everybody. At the end of the day, I don't care who they are, what color they are, what race, what nationality. It's all about enjoying the, 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 the precious time that we have here on earth, right? I think that's the purpose in life is figuring out who you are and enjoying that. And so few people get to do that. Um, so I don't have any anger or hate in my heart towards nobody. But I think that that was a bad, that was just... The way it came out, like I said, whatever he intended, the way it was interpreted by a lot of people uh, is why we're at where we're at. But anyways, that's my video for today. Um, everybody be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.